Hello everyone. There are a multitude of ways that I could start this video. However, I'm gonna cut right to the chase. Today is National Pickle Day. Now pickle, pickle's special to me because pickle's my favorite word in the entire world because it's just such a funny word to say. And if you listen to the TTV podcast, then you may be aware that such, a, such an image exists. And I'll show it right now. It's called the Snickle. And it's a combination of a, of a pickle and a Snickers. And so what I've, I have gone out and done is I have gotten here. I went ahead and I found a local Walmart tree. And I went ahead and I plucked these fresh looking whole dill pickles. See, it even says fresh pack. Just went ahead and got that, and well, the Snickers bar kind of came along. So, what we're gonna do is we are going to make the elusive Snickle. So, let's get started. First of all, we need to open this pickle jar. Ah, there we go. There, that's a satisfying crunch. That's how you know they're ripe. All right, now we need to find the proper pickle. <laughs> okay, um, no, that's not gonna work. It needs to be, no, get out of here. It needs to be the right size. Because we're looking, looking for a big old pickle. About the size, so, eh, if we can get it bigger than a Snickers and we're, we're in business. Thought I saw one. Okay. All right, these are our, okay. So we've got two candidates right here. These two, I think these are what we're going to use. So we're going to go ahead and put these pickles back. Get back in there. Okay, let's get started. All right, remember kids, don't do this at home. Always ask your parents for permission first before, I know, committing the crimes against humanity that I'm about to perform. So let's go ahead, let's open the Snickers. Warning. There are peanuts in here. There is caramel. There's nougat. There is milk chocolate. There is no gluten, so this should be okay for me. Okay. We've extracted the Snickers. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to fit this Snickers inside of this pickle. Now, there's no way that we're going to be able to effectively... Th this guy's not Canada anymore. There's no way we're going to be able to effectively put the whole thing in at once. So what we are gonna do is, like the picture, we're gonna split it open. So that's why I have my trusty utensils here. We'll just cut right down the middle. Okay. Step one is complete. Now, the Snickers. Okay, step two is complete. You can tell it's a Snickers, I'm looking at the inside. Now what we need to do is we're somehow going to need to fit this cube inside of this, well, not cube. So we're going to have to be very, very careful here. Okay, let's see if this is gonna work. Oh, we we are almost there. You know what? I think we're gonna try it. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, that's about as good as we're gonna get it. Now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna cut more of the Snickers off so we get that, oh, there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Snickle. Here, we're gonna need to go ahead and go ahead and just clear the plate here. That way we can get a better look at our masterpiece. Just go ahead and scoop this up. There we go. Oh, there it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. I present to you the Snickle. All right, here we go. This is LJ's food review on the Snickle. <clears throat> I'm LJ Johnson, and I am entering 
the bite zone with the snickle. Here we go. Mm. Oh man. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm, wow. And the different flavors. I gotta say, everyone, that really satisfies. Mm. I'm gonna finish it off. Alright, well, if I had to give it a rating. I have to say, between the two foods I've reviewed on this channel, which are the mangosteen and the snickle, the snickle doesn't necessarily rise up to the occasion of the mangosteen. However, I can 100% confirm it is an immensely unique experience that I don't know if I'm going to be able to replicate at any point in my life. So. I, I rate the Snickle definitely a solid 6.5 out of 10. I think that there's a lot you can you can do here. There's so much to, to enjoy from this innovative recipe that I'm sure will eventually become an American classic provided it is deep fried. Oh my goodness, wow, that's, um, hmm, that's unique. The way that the, the nuts, like the peanuts, are crunchy but the pickle is soft and then the saltiness and I would say savoriness of the pickle mixed with the chocolate and the sweetness and gooeyness of the caramel doesn't mix at all it's just you have these all these different conflicting flavors in your mouth and you're not sure really what to do there's it makes this taste that I can't I can't exactly like you can kind of parse between the pickle and the and the Snickers but then there's this other taste in between those two, and it's just so, so... But you know what? I'd do this again. And now you can do it too. So thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed LJ's food review of the Snickle. Now you go out there and you celebrate National Pickle Day by making a Snickle of your own. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day.